So here we are in my example engineering notebook. And um, this is just a quick uh, demonstration on how to do uh, one of the simple machine calculation problems. So here we have um, our first problem. A first class lever in static equilibrium has a 43 pound effort force and a 225 pound resistance force. The lever's effort force is located three and a half feet from the fulcrum. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to sketch out the problem. Um, and in order to do that, uh, one thing that I like to do is I like to just label everything first. So my effort force, which would be F subscript E equals 43 pounds. My resistance force, which would be F subscript R equals 225 pounds. The effort distance, which would be D subscript E, equals three and a half feet. The resistance distance is our unknown, and that's gonna be what we wanna know. So now we're ready to sketch this out. So this is a first class lever. So a first class lever, as you know, has a fulcrum not necessarily in the middle, but in between its two forces that are going the same direction. So this is the universal symbol for fulcrum, just a triangle. And then I'm going to have an arm out each side. One side is going to be longer than the other. And I know just by looking at uh, what the uh, effort and resistances are, that the effort side is going to be farther away from the fulcrum than the resistance side. So I know that my effort is going to be over here on the longer side of where I drew. So I'm going to now draw a force. So this is my effort force, Fe equals 43 pounds. And I know that my effort force is three and a half feet away from the fulcrum. So I'm gonna label that right here. And that is my effort distance. And I'm just gonna put that in as a dimension right there. So now over on this side, this is my resistance side. So I'm gonna put a resistance force right here. And I know that that resistance force is 225 pounds. And I'll label that FR. And then my resistance distance is right here. And that is gonna be dr. So now I'm ready to set up my equation. So now we're ready to calculate the actual mechanical advantage of the system. So actual mechanical advantage or AMA is resistance force divided by effort force. And if you ever forget any of these, don't forget to pull out your formula sheet which I have right here. And there is also a uh, link to a PDF file with these in uh, your Schoology page. So anyway, AMA is equal to resistance force divided by effort force. And the resistance force is 225 pounds. And that's going to be divided by the effort force of 43 pounds. So when you go to do this problem, you can just punch in 225 divided by 43. And you'll end up with 5.23. And remember, we're always writing mechanical advantage as, as a ratio. So it's 5.23 to one is your answer for AMA. So the next step of the problem then is going to be using uh, equations for static equilibrium. So we're assuming that this is not going to be moving at all. It's perfectly balanced. 
So remember to get, uh, and this is where we get into moment calculation. So it's gonna be force times distance on one side equals force times distance on the other side. So to do that, we're going to take the resistance force, which is 225 pounds, times the resistance distance, and we're gonna set that equal to the effort force times the effort distance. So now we're gonna simplify a little bit. So we'll put 43 pounds times three and a half feet and we get 150.5. And the units that we're now dealing with are foot pounds. So 150 foot pounds is equal to 225 pounds times dr. So to solve for dr, now what we need to do is we need to take 225 pounds and use that to divide by both sides. So on this side, it cancels out. So that's going to isolate dr. And then over here, we have 150.5 divided by 225. And we get 0.668 repeating. And in this case, we are gonna cancel out the pounds. So we have 0.668 repeating feet. So about two thirds of a foot. So the resistance distance is about two thirds of a foot, which if you divide a foot into thirds is gonna give you pretty close to eight inches. and then come up here and we will add that into the drawing. And we can round that to 0.669, or you could even make the argument for just saying 0.67 would also be fine. So now I'll come up here and label that. So our resistance distance, which is what we were trying to come up with an answer for, is 0.67 feet. 